Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Android 4.0 mini PC. It's a little $74 computer that runs Google Android, and right now it's connected to a power supply, a wireless keyboard and mouse through a USB port here, and a 1080p monitor using an HDMI output. Uh, this particular monitor doesn't have a uh, any speakers built in, so since there's no speaker jack on the little PC, um, you're going to maybe want to use this with a TV, and it really does make sort of a good online video player if that's uh, something you're looking for. Uh, I've been playing with it for uh, just a, a little while now, and one of the things that I wanted to show you was, uh, well, a couple of the things I wanted to show you were some of the applications. I was pleasantly surprised to see out of the box it came with the Android um, market, which automatically updated pretty quickly to the Google Play Store, and it had some other apps preloaded as well, including Angry Birds Space and Skype, as well as some online video uh, from the Chinese market, including PPS, PPTV, and Youku. Um, but once I logged in with my uh, Google ID, I was able to install Netflix, the uh, YouTube video uh, site works, and so forth. So let's take a quick look at online video here. And... Um, Here we've got some high definition video playing from YouTube. And you can see I've got shaky cam there going just about as much as I do right now. Plays pretty well in full screen. Netflix works as well. Um, it takes a little while to buffer the videos sometimes, but they do play reasonably well. It actually looks a little bit better on the screen than it does right here because of um, sort of a brightly lit room here. Um, some other applications, I went ahead and installed one of my favorite Android games, Robo Defense. Plays quite smoothly. Now it's a little bit tricky to use some of these applications that are designed for uh, touchscreen when you're using a keyboard and mouse. But they, uh, they do work, and some games are better than others, so games like tower defense type games that uh, are mostly just sort of drag and drop, those work pretty well. Anything that requires multi-touch you're going to have problems with, clearly. So you can see that we are running Google Android 4.0. We can dismiss applications from the recently used list, or we can switch to applications. So I installed the Kindle application just for kicks. Um, this one's sort of a weird one, because it works, but I'm not sure that I would really want to spend a lot of time reading ebooks on a screen like this. Pocket Informant Calendar. There's a built in file manager. And it, uh, the default web browser works pretty well, but I went ahead and installed Dolphin Browser HD as well, because that allows me to um, install the LastPass password manager and uh, bring in my saved passwords so that I could do things like go to uh, the WordPress administration and update my website. Now you can see it's not the fastest little computer, uh, even as Android devices go. But overall, it does have a lot of functionality for a $74 device. So if you're looking for something to, say, just watch web video on your TV, maybe play a couple of games on your TV, or even just a really basic computer for uh, 
a family member who might not be really familiar with computers but wants to be able to do email and web surfing and, um, and maybe play some games, um, you know, something like this little $74 PC might do. Uh, it's not as fast as most Windows computers these days, it's not as fast even as most Android tablets these days, um, but the all-winner A10 processor is, you know, powerful enough to handle a lot of these tasks. I have a feeling that if and when I uh, manage to get uh, Ubuntu or a different Linux distribution installed, some things might load even more slowly. Once applications are up and running, in Android at least, they seem to go pretty quickly, but uh, Android is really designed for a sort of stripped down system, a very uh, basic experience, and uh, when you have a more full-featured operating system, there's a chance that things could be a little bit slower, but uh, I won't know for certain until I try. Another thing that I noticed here is that this guy's been plugged in for maybe about a half hour, and it's very warm. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily going to overheat, but it's such a small device that um, that it does generate a fair amount of heat in this uh, in this little casing. Um, so, yeah, much more so than you would expect from, say, a, a smartphone or a tablet. Um, but it's not really meant to be held, so um, I'm not sure that that's necessarily going to be a huge problem, but um, I'm a little bit worried that, you know, if you were going to use it for hours and hours on end, there's a, a slight chance that it could cause some heat issues. Um, so, you know, I'm not entirely convinced yet that it might, that it's a perfect replacement for, uh, for other types of set-top boxes. Um, you know, plug into the back of your TV and use as if it were a Roku or a um, boxy box or something like that. But uh, my only real concern, I think, is the fact that it um, generates a lot of heat. And so uh, for extended periods of time, if you use it, it, it could cause some problems. Um, and of course, the user interface isn't necessarily as, as simple as... Uh, you would get from one of those sorts of devices. But, uh, you know, there's lots of Android applications, such as Plex, that might be able to sort of turn it into a media center if that's what you're looking for. So I think there's, um, you know, especially because of the low price, it's a very interesting device that might have um, some interesting use cases. So I'll, uh, I'll be curious to know what kind of things you would like to see me try and uh, what sort of things you might want to do with a $74 little computer running Google Android that uh, has connections for an HDTV or a monitor and USB ports for um, right now I've got a keyboard and mouse plugged in but you should theoretically be able to plug in uh, video game controllers as well because there's support for that built into Android 4.0. So this is Brad Linder and look at the Android 4.0 mini PC running a couple of Android applications. Um, you can find out more at lilliputing.com.